This is North Dakota Today. Good morning, everyone. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining us here on North Dakota Today. I almost said the Valley Today. My name is <laughs> Ashlyn Hill. Three days, and you already forget the show. Exactly. Where am I? It's all a big blur. <laughs> well, I'm Jillian Trudeau. Hi. Um, Nice to have you back. Oh, it's great to be back. <laughs> and guess what? It's Pi Day. <laughs> it is Pi Day. You came back at the best time. What a triumphant I return. Know. March 14th marks Pi Day, the annual holiday, all in honor of the mathematical constant Pi. It is the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. If you didn't remember that, don't feel bad. Me either. <laughs> the irrational number is typically rounded down to 3.14, hence why the celebration takes place on March 14th because it's 3.14 day. Yes, yeah, that's correct. Uh, so we woke up, we realized it was Pi Day. Mm -hmm. We were incredibly excited. And then we talked to our producer and Emily. Yes. And they're going to pick us up a pie. Yeah. What is this, lemon meringue? Lemon meringue, yep. And okay. she said that this was one of the last pies at Hornbacher's because everyone was going to get their pies this morning. See, so everybody was on the right track already. Yeah. She just said it was like Black Friday for pie shopping. <laughs> Everything was gone. From Everything's the on sale. Everyone's she could have like came back with a scone. <laughs> I bet Perkins Lines is just absolutely insane. Oh right now. yeah, Perkins. So I've never eaten at Perkins. Yeah. She didn't even know what Perkins was. You would have thought I committed a crime by I, saying I wasn't I sure what Perkins was. It was a national thing, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if I ever okay. knew what it was. So I've actually never had lemon meringue pie. I have. I'm excited to take a bite into okay. this guy. I didn't realize it was. It's cold. <laughs> Served, chilled, or maybe it was just left outside. It's kind of <laughs> jelly-like. Gelatin. <laughs> and then the meringue, that's like a mousse. It's like a fluff. It's not oh, a cool whip. And okay. then it's like torch to give it that. Yeah, very pretty. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's called. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, you know, it's torch for... <laughs> well, okay, cheers. cheers. <laughs> we both do it at the same time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Oh, we're getting into some creamy goodness. I really like that. I love pie crust, though. It's funny, That's too. We were talking about our favorite pies. Jillian, you love fruit pie. Yeah, I like apple pie. I love apple pie as well. So good. Hot apple pie or warm apple pie? Oh, God, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't planned. <laughs> uh, okay, I got to try to swallow and then breathe. Don't do it at the exact same time. The dangers of eating on television. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Do you My say cold apple pie? No, I'm trying okay. to say I really love hot or warm apple pie. Okay. Then with a scoop of frozen vanilla ice cream. Mm, yes. And yep. then top tier. Yeah, that's just the way to go. Or Absolutely. apple crisp if you're too lazy to actually make a pie. Yeah. And you want to just throw mm. things into a into a casserole dish. Yeah, that stuff is so good though. It's yeah. just amazing. And I feel like apple pie just in general is pretty easy to make. Yeah. With yeah. those ingredient lineups. <laughs> with those. Cinnamon <laughs> apple, just pie crust. <laughs> what else yeah. is there? You like rhubarb? I don't love rhubarb. You know, I can't even tell you the last time I had rhubarb. I was just trying to think of any fruit pies. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, strawberry, rhubarb? Yeah. What else is there? <laughs> we couldn't think of the fact that there's a blueberry pie. Yeah, right. Um, peach cobbler. Yeah, Does that count as a pie? Peach cobbler is good. I, I had no idea if that's a technical pie. Right? See, what, whatever. But. Do what you feel is right today. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever made a pie homemade? Yes, I did for Thanksgiving. I made really? two pumpkin pies. I also okay. love pumpkin pie. You know, I was thinking about making a pie. I've never made a pie. Um, and I was thinking about doing it this year because I was looking it up and pumpkin pie seems quite easy to make. Oh, yeah. that's Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Mixing like and then baking. Of, yeah. I will admit, though, when I did it, I didn't let my pumpkin pie bake long enough. The looks are deceiving. So I mean, it happens? was cooked, but it could have gone longer, I guess I would say. Is it just a little runny? Uh, more like gelatinous, gelatinous <laughs> looking. <laughs> okay. I think that I might be inventing words this morning on Pi Day. <laughs> I totally understand what you're saying. The though. sugar rush, yeah. I'm like, I'm not sure what it is exactly. <laughs> but if you've ever made pumpkin pie and it was slightly not done enough, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Still tasted great. It just wasn't as firm. Okay, yeah. But it wasn't so runny. It's just a little more like soft. a jello consistency yeah, okay. when it could have been a thicker, creamier consistency. Yeah, okay. If that makes any sense just at all. Put either. a bunch of whipped cream on it anyway, you're, you're fine. The funny part is, we came on Pie Day not expecting to have to try to think of the terms of what it takes to cook pie. We just <laughs> were excited to eat and taste a lemon yes, meringue. Pie. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So, 
<laughs> I, so I, I, there's a lot happening here in our yeah, ears. Absolutely. Anyway, um, in math class, were you ever that competition where you had to say that that three point one four five three point one three 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 five nine? So then it rounds up to 3.14. Oh my gosh, I thought you broke for a second. Google me. Google it. <laughs> Google it. it. That was our director in our ear, by the way, yeah, telling us to silence. say that. Oh um, my goodness gracious, anyway. and it's still going. Yeah. Okay, um, coming up today, we have a lot going on. I do want to touch on this, though. March Madness. Yes. I so, need yeah, to fill my bracket. I'm yeah. so sorry. No, yeah. that's good. We're going to get into it. You have time. You have until okay. Thursday to Perfect. fill it out. The only reason I even know what's happening is because my family enters in our own little familial bracket challenge every year and it's so easy I don't know a single thing about basketball <laughs> they have auto pick oh. you can and you can auto pick according to top seeds uh, statistics you can there's all you can follow the experts quote unquote from CBS Sports or ESPN also has a way to click around and do an autofill as well sure. uh, I did a historical number one seed autofill and I'll just say I've never seen this on my bracket going to the final four let alone being the championship Houston I have Houston taking it all the way, bringing home the gold. Really? Yeah, so this is an auto pick I did. Very, very easy and a fun way to have a little competition. Mm -hmm. So Jillian, I'm going to have her fill one out. I told Jordan he should do one too. It's just a fun way to feel involved if you have no idea what March Madness is about. about. Yeah, and it's a fun <laughs> little competition, especially if you get multiple people in on it and you're just kind of following it and you don't really know what's going on. Yeah. I think I'm going to cheat a little bit, and um, my, bro <laughs> my brother's yeah. roommate is super, super into sports, so I'm going to yeah. give him a call tonight and yeah. just see phone what a friend. he thinks. Yeah, <laughs> fun. phone a friend. Yeah. I'm just saying, hey. What's your picks? Yep, <laughs> help me <laughs> out. Who's, who's supposed to be winning this thing? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Although I do live for a good upset. I love it when it, the, the team you think is going to go for it just falls flat on their face. Sorry, oh, sorry, yeah. but it's just <laughs> the drama. I live for it in sports. <laughs> Yeah, the dramatics. Okay, so we're going to go to commercial break, scarf down our pie. Absolutely. But coming up, you guys, we are chatting with a local school theater group promoting their latest performance. It is Footloose, Footloose, Footloose. Sing that to yourself. In the meantime, we're going <laughs> to check out our local steals and deals, and we'll be right back.